connected and IoT devices are notorious for having poor security implementations. But known default and easily guessable passwords are the top of this list, making it far too easy for malicious actors to take over any network, starting from the things connected to it. Hello, my name is John Nye, and I'm the technical product manager and resident tech evangelist for IoT Secure and our IoT security appliances, the IoT Max and IoT Mini. I've been an information security professional since 2007 and performed everything from security assessments to network and physical penetration testing for clients that ranged from US government to universities to healthcare and banking, with everything else in between. During this time, I witnessed an inordinate number of horrifically insecure and vulnerable systems, and those weak security practices still keep me awake at night. In this Fuddy It series, I share some of the most worrisome issues out there and explain why they exist what can be done, and finally, how IoT Secure can help you take control of all the systems on your network so you don't have to lose sleep over the security of your organization's systems and data. In this episode, we're discussing something that is about as rampant as a security flaw can be, especially on the Internet of Things. Default passwords. These are painfully simple to define as passwords set by the manufacturer on all devices in a category that are publicly known, published in a manual, or otherwise easily found by malicious actors. Many of the organizations I've tested for, and even more individuals I've discussed this issue with, have been very quick to claim, or more likely swear up and down, that their network definitely didn't have any default passwords on it. And to be honest, I would probably have gotten just as defensive if accused of having default passwords on a network that I oversaw. But the harsh reality is that you probably do have devices on your network right now that have default passwords just waiting to be found and exploited. Unlike more traditional IT, IoT can't be centrally managed like a Windows device or networking equipment can be. So you can't use enterprise password management tools, you can't enforce policies or password requirements, and more often than you would think, these devices get dropped onto the network anyways, regardless of requirements or policies. But John, these are just devices, not computers, you say? Well, I want to remind all of you that anything that has an IP address on your network is fair game for attackers, whether you think it is or not. I know that when I was doing penetration tests for organizations of every size, the vast majority of the time, my initial entry point into their network was through some unknown device or default passwords on unmanaged endpoints. This is educational content, so I'm not going to just tell you what I've seen and expect you to just believe me. Now, if you work in InfoSec, you've probably heard of a tool called Shodan, the search engine for everything on the internet. For this example, which you can replicate yourself on Shodan, I want to show you just a couple samples of the devices on the internet that have default passwords on them. There are countless unprotected, unmanaged, and highly vulnerable devices connected to the actual internet right now, with thousands more being added every day. There are many times more of these horribly insecure devices on private networks everywhere right now. Quite likely, these unprotected devices are just sitting on your network waiting for you or a malicious actor to find them and either change their password or use them as a jumping off point to take full control of your network and use it as they please. If you would like to avoid this fate, 
If you would prefer to be the one that finds these vulnerable devices first, then IoT Secure can help you. Our IoT security appliances, the IoT Mini and IoT Max, are designed from the ground up to find and inventory your unmanaged devices, with the added bonus of providing you with complete and accurate inventories of all your networked devices. All of this can be done without the need for software agents or network tap span ports. The IOTSAs take this a step further too. They are not just good at inventorying your endpoints. They will help you manage and secure your unmanaged devices. Things like IoT, Biomed, OT, IIoT, and any other kind of connected network devices. If you'd prefer to be in control of all the devices on your network, and you don't want to spend way too much money and far too many hours tuning, then IoT Secure is the right fit for you. To learn more about the IoTSAs right now, you can watch our technical overview videos linked below in the description and in the card at the end of this video. And if you'd like to validate our claims for yourself, we will gladly help with that. Go to iotmini.io today and request your own free IoT Mini and take control of all your endpoints now.